Hello and welcome to this special prophetic update. I'm Diana Larkin and this is A Watchman's Journal. It's entitled Volcanoes and the Fall of the Fall. It was prompted by uh, Kim Clement who was a great prophet who is now in heaven. He released a word in 2014 that was entitled Volcanic Eruption summer and exposures in fall and you can find that under his uh, youtube channel still i'll try to leave a link in the description box it was posted by brian of love has a name youtube channel and he's also on telegram and he posted it and recommended listening to it a number of times i did that and every time i realized Oh, you know what? The Lord spoke to me about that. I have a prophetic word on that too. So I compiled together the entries that uh, spoke of the things that Kim Clement did in his video. Uh, they're very powerful. It was a very powerful prophetic night that he gave these. And it was kind of mysterious because nobody really understood the full ramifications of what he was saying, but his uh, prophetic words are coming uh, to pass daily in this era that we are in. So let's see what the Father said to me about volcanoes. Now he said uh, it uh, a number of times, like there's a volcano of truth that's going to explode, but this, he was mentioning a specific volcano, and these also mention specific volcanoes. September 8th of 20. 21. In an entry called Let's Roll, I found myself in the war room of, of heaven again, and I'm standing behind one of the 24 elders with my hands on his shoulders. If you haven't heard my videos before, sometimes uh, I'm taken to the war room of heaven, and there's an oval, big oval, oval conference table in the war room, and the 24 elders who sit around the throne in Revelation chapter 4 are around the table and there's always one that I'm to stand behind and I always see something different in the room so this time I saw technical screens that were positioned showing sections of the world enemy placements and angelic forces there's a quiet murmur of conversation until the father stands up and the room falls silent he begins to speak it is time to launch the final phase of our rescue operation. So this is almost a year ago now. As the Father speaks, there is a quiet undercurrent of excitement in the room, and all the elders nod in silent and solemn agreement. The Father turns to me and says, Let my people know that the enemy will work overtime right now to discourage and disarm my army so that they let down their guard to discouragement or depression or get distracted by rapidly moving circumstances. Tell them, keep close to me and I will reveal what I am doing through the shakings that occur. I will freely give wisdom, insight and direction to all who seek me. I am your strong tower, your sure defense and I will prove my faithfulness and power by saving your nation from the grip of lies and darkness. The discussion then began again around the table and I began to hear specific targets for heavenly operations. I brief briefly saw glimpses of the Washington Monument, the Mississippi River, and I watched a volcano appear where there was only a slight hill and it grew into a small mountain that began to spew smoke, ash, rocks and lava. The ground violently shook at the force of this volcano being born. Very interesting. Let's see if that comes to pass soon. February 16th of 2022, I heard some prophetic intel in the night. At 3.34 a.m., the Father just suddenly started speaking, so I'm up journaling quick. In the days ahead, you will hear rumors of war, but these are distractions to keep the public from hearing about the Durham investigation.
keep focused on disclosures coming out. You'll hear of more resignations across all seven mountains, and we have been seeing that. Some will say they're retiring and some for poor health, but it will eventually come out that these are being charged with crimes. The top will blow off from a completely dormant volcano, a mountain people did not even know was a volcano. So pretty cool, those two references to a volcano. Let's talk about the fall of the fall. August 19th of 2020, in an entry called Boom, this is what the father said. Now, you, just to give you a little bit of placement in history, this is before the selection that happened in November of that year. He said to me, the hammer is poised to drop and its blow will be final and devastating for those who have conspired with evil against me and my righteous and just ways. It will be fall and spring all at once. The end of an evil era and the beginning of a fresh start to set up leaders after my heart in every area of your nation. A cleansing and restructuring will occur with protections to prevent the return of evil, bribery, and corruption. You will see a new righteous day arise for your land as people turn to me for truth and protection. A perfect climate will be laid for my kingdom to advance. And many souls will be added to the church, which is also in the process of having evil exposed and dealt with. Be ready to take your part. I'll be with you and show you a new way of ministry. Very simple and very effective. Trust me and follow my heart. It will lead you to where I've called you to minister with great grace and peace. So what's interesting is he speaks of it will be fall and spring all at once. Now in Kim Clement's prophetic word, he actually personified the seasons. And he began by saying uh, summer was speaking. And summer was a bridge between spring and fall. He said kind of a, a go between between them. Just kind of strange language and he Summer was complaining that so many bad things happened when she was supposed to be bringing joy. Uh, she's mentioned, he mentioned she was complaining about tornadoes and uh, hurricanes and um, hot weather. And, but somehow she was a bridge from spring and would bring us into fall, which he said would bring exposure. So. I think fall and spring all at once is, a, is very interesting in this word. And I really like the part about a simple and very effective way of ministering God's grace and glory. That sounds very good. We're going to go to August 28th of 2020, just like 10 days, 9 days after that uh, previous word, and it's called Hope and Peace. Your nation is ready to, to listen to the message of hope and peace that DJT has been anointed for. Now, when the Father said that, at that particular moment, I thought they are, because I still believed at that point there was a lot of the nation still asleep. So I believe this message is for this season that we are now entering into. The Father said they're worn out and through with messages of strife, division, and accusation. True colors of light and darkness are being highlighted and brought into sharp contrast with each other. Light is penetrating more and more of the darkness and true motives are being uncovered as the false and hate-filled rhetoric they really are. The many declarations of hatred and threats against this president, that was at the time, of DJT are going to be turned back against those who have spoken them. In their blindness and bitterness, they don't realize they're pronouncing their own future and what will now befall them. The tables are turning and this fall, you will see the fall of many in power. Now we have not seen that yet, 
Uh, this was two years ago, so still waiting for that fulfillment, and I really believe it could be this fall. He continues, in its place, I'll raise up righteous leaders after my heart who will serve the people of this nation. Rejoice that I'm sweeping away darkness and establishing my light in your nation. Hope and peace will be fanned until they burn brightly in your midst and your nation is a beacon for all the world. August 28th of 2021. Now, that last word I gave you was August 28th of 2020. So it's quite interesting that a year later, he is speaking this word, the fall of the fall. The darkness can only hold back the tsunami of truth for so long. They can only release a limited number of attacks meant to bring fear, destruction, and de to design and designed to turn the attention away from their evil and lies because my army is deflecting and diminishing these attacks with their authority and declarations and because I am drawing up their resources to pay for these attacks. To the woman with a darkened heart high up in your government, I, the living God, ask you, are the arrows in your quiver almost gone? Are you coming to realize the darkness you serve is not as powerful as you thought it was? You should be afraid, very afraid, because you are about to come face to face with Almighty God, and I will hold you accountable for all the evil, greed, and selfishness that you built your life upon. Heavy, heavy words. This next season will be known as the great fall of the fall, and the world will see the evil agendas that have ruled it as I pull back the curtain and reveal all. Those who were strong, protected, and rich will find themselves stripped of all three, and when they cry out for mercy, they will find none because they gave none. Let the fear of my great name sweep the land as you watch the fall of the fall. To those who fear my name, it will bring repentance, cleansing, and freedom. On October 30th of 2021, I heard the fall is falling. The arrogant ones who have partnered with darkness think of themselves as the high and mighty, but I think of them as the fall. Because pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. These evil plotters and schemers thought of themselves as untouchable and above any of man's laws. Indeed, they had placed gatekeepers all through the justice system who would stop any uncovering of their deeds and who would halt any justice proceedings. However, now they are dealing directly with me, the God of justice, and they are beginning to fall. As they fall, they will set off a domino effect that will bring down all those under them, including their carefully placed gatekeepers. Their arrogance blinded them to the fact that I have been setting them all in a row, an intricately formed trap. And when I cause them to fall, all those beneath them will be falling as well. It takes a long time to set up an elaborate domino pattern but it goes down in seconds. Your patience, your persistence, and your faith will be greatly rewarded. Watch as I display my setup of the fall is falling. A lot of play on words with the word fall. He's talking about those who have chosen darkness as the fall. He's talking about the season of fall, and he's talking about falling. So a lot to just process with the Holy Spirit. November 20th of 2021, what will the day bring? Each new day in this season of the fall of the fall will bring an uncovering of a corrupt person. So we have not seen that. It has been happening slowly, but not this everyday thing that the Father is saying will happen. There is no turning back the tide of exposure and in fact, it will only increase. Your prayers, your faith, your declarations, your sending the host, 
have built an offensive tsunami that cannot be stopped. It will roll across your nation, exposing darkness and pushing it out in the open. High and dry and with no place to hide, this massive offensive we have built together will bring in righteousness and justice and a cleansed land that we will rebuild, restore, and prosper. This has always been my dream to have you win back your nation with me and to partner with me in reforming a nation and a people who reflect my love and my glory. Oh, sign me up. I am there. January 26th of this year, I heard the days of reckoning. What is knocking louder and louder on the door of your nation? Hear it? It started in the last few years as a quiet knock to get your attention. Then it grew louder in order to awaken you. Now it's pounding on the door and demanding entrance to your land. Will you fling open the door and welcome reckoning to do its job of accounting of what the wicked have done and demanding repayment and accounting what the righteous have done? Wait a minute, I'm going to read that again. I think I got lost. Will you fling open the door and welcome reckoning in to do its job of accounting what the wicked have done and demanding repayment and accounting what the righteous have done and rewarding them with recompense? Make, mo make no mistake, this is still the season of the fall and you will see it with your own eyes. Open your spiritual ears and hear the pounding on the door of your nation and fling it open wide and welcome reckoning in to do its good work of judgment, justice, and recompense. I had recommended reading for this entry of Psalm 37 and Psalm 111. Uh, I've looked those up and just, they're very, fitting for this day that we are in. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen 111 on the clock. <laughs> July 8th of this year, I heard a maturing harvest. The harvest of evil and the harvest of righteousness have been maturing in your nation. Seeds of evil and seeds of good that people have sown in the soil of their lives are coming to maturity. This is a season of exposure and the fruit of everyone's lives is being brought to maturity before the world. There will no longer be a way to hide the harvest of your life, whether it is a dark harvest or whether it is a harvest of light. All will be revealed. I am releasing this season of harvest in response to your cries for righteousness and justice for your own lives and for your nation. I am releasing my spiritual harvest to align with your natural harvest cycle. You are seeing the first fruits of a bumper harvest season. Now, our harvest season is uh, normally the fall, although there are some crops that come in earlier. And we have been seeing some harvesting of wickedness as monuments fall and leaders step down. My harvest of glory is also being released so that people do not despair and lose heart when they see the depth of evil and how deceived they have been. My glory brings my presence, my power, my healing, and my hope. My glory re-centers hearts on me and understanding will be imparted for the need of my judgment and justice. I have revealed the enemy's plans for lack, destruction, and crashes. Don't agree with those plans. Send that harvest into the enemy's camp and you call in my greater harvest of plenty, peace, health, and financial blessing. I have set before you two harvests. Choose life and oppose death. All will be revealed in this season of a maturing harvest. Kim Clement, in his prophetic word, uh, didn't leave out Christmas and winter. He mentioned those briefly and 
said, ah, Christmas, winter, oh, you bring smiles. And I thought of this journal entry from October 16th of 2019. It's called Mercy Like Rain. After the murderous deception has been blown away from your nation, the evil plots and schemes exposed, and justice released to those who partnered with darkness, I will release an abundant cloud of mercy, like gentle rain, across your land to bring comfort, healing, and a release from trauma. It will usher in a Christmas season like no other, filled with peace, stillness, and profound rejoicing and thanksgiving. Silent night will bring chills and an awareness of my presence, my provision, and my peace. A holy hush of the fear of the Lord will settle on your land and deliverance and salvations will abound. All the warfare, all the pushing back of darkness will be worth it and you will enjoy the fruit of righteousness and peace. Don't become weary in the battle. Press on. Good things are in store for those who partner with me. Isn't that a beautiful word? And every Christmas since 2019, I have waited for the fulfillment of this word. And it has not been yet, but I can truly see where the setup is in place for it to happen this year. I pray that it will. Our God is a good God. His timing is perfect. So whenever these words do come true, they will be at just the right time so that they have the full and maximum effect. But I want you to know prophetic voices have been speaking for years about this season that we are now in. And there has been a real unity of message in the darkness falling and in righteousness being reestablished. And the seasons are going to all be joyful and have great blessings for us. Something to really look forward to and to rejoice in when it happens and even begin to celebrate right now because we know our God is faithful and he is going to do what he says he will do. So thank you, Father, for the amazing prophetic messages you gave to Kim Clement. We thank you that you are honoring him and that his words are coming true and that those who served under him are now blossoming and coming into their own prophetic voice. And we just rejoice that all the prophetic voices you have raised up in this desperate season of battle when we so need to hear your voice to keep us steady to keep us focused on your promises and your faithfulness. And we declare to you that we will be faithful to you. We will partner with you in bringing down darkness and in bringing in the restoration of your kingdom and our nation. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for this special prophetic update. I hope that you have been blessed and encouraged by it. Until we meet again, may you be immersed in his peace and his glory.